So riders now, three of them are ready. Leon Manson just taking his time coming forward on the outside gate. Here we go then, semi-final number one here in the Edward Yancez Stadium tapes up. Schmarzik's made a lovely start, he hits the front. Madsen's gone very, very wide in the first corner. Will it work out? Not quite, because Holders then blocks his move. Schmarzik potentially right place, right time. He's gone wide there. Madsen now coming up the inside of Holder. Leon Madsen, will he get there? Looks like he is just an out of the back. second place. Holder leaning all over him down the back. Oh, 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 down. No. oh, oh big crash. He got collected too. Oh, Huckenberg collected him. Drama there in semi-final one. I don't think Jack Holder needed to go down there. Well, didn't help when uh, Huckenberg had nowhere to go. Wow, drama there. That was really, really fast down there. You are pressing on down that back straight. Speed, probably, that's the fastest point of the track, arguably. And yeah, Jack, Jack Holder was sort of leaning way. on Madsen, wasn't he? Yeah. He was leaning yeah. on him, but he wasn't really, was he in front of him? I don't think he was quite in front of him. I'm, I'm, I'm not convinced he needed to go down. I mean, yes, he'd have been, he'd have been way out there by the fence. But um, I would need to see it again. It's a tough one to call. Now you have the opportunity. Yes, well, I will call it as best I can, Kelvin. Smarzik out front. You know, Madsen on the inside. It's going to get close here. I don't think he needed to go down. He needed to do the sensible thing ooh, and uh, ride out of the way, if anything, because uh, Leon Madsen's got himself in front. Um, maybe, maybe he did catch his handlebar there. Can't see from that angle. But fortunately for Jack Holder, it's actually Kai Huckenbeck that collects him, not his bike. Might be able to see it from this one. It's going to be at the back of the bike, though. No, no, he hasn't touched him. And, and Madsen's got his front wheel over the white line. Yeah, I, I, to be honest, I don't see that Madsen's done anything wrong. It would be really harsh. We are hearing that Jack it is Holder's Jack out. Holder. It's confirmed. The rider in third place in the championship chase is out. And uh, Jack Holder bites the dust on the first lap. Look at Kai Huckenbeck. Oh, He's got off the back. Gives him a really good thump in the back. And uh, clearly, Huckenbeck felt that he was going to catch him with the bike, bailed off the bike. Fair play to Huckenbeck. Yeah. But uh, for Jack Holder, not right, what he, he wanted. Probably winded there. He took a fair whack from uh, Kai Huckenbeck's knee. He wasn't in front of him. When you see that in slow motion, he was leaning on Leon Madsen, but he was behind him. Yeah. And uh, Leon then came, they came apart, and Madsen then actually had his front wheel over the white line. Yeah, Madsen couldn't have done it's anything It's a tough else. one for the ref, but I think it's the right one. Absolutely the right decision, yeah. So there we are. Jack Holder out. Disappointment for the Australian. Yeah, two minutes is on. Okay, guys, two minutes is on. Riders going out for the rerun, but we can hear from Jack Holder. Are you okay? At the moment, yeah, it's uh, pretty sore in you know in the in the backside. Um, yeah, one of them nights, hustled hard all night. Um, yeah, <laughs> not much else to say. How do you see the referee's decision there? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> okay, we regroup and we go again because you're in that championship hunt and you had such fighting talk coming into this round. Yeah, for sure, it's a bit of a bummer, but. Um, yeah, you know, it wasn't looking pretty there at the start of the meeting. Um, make it hard on myself, you know, at the start of the meeting, not having enough pace. But, you know, I got to that semi, so that was good. And then, um, yeah, it was in a good spot there. And, yeah, just got sort of left side sort of taken out. And it is what it is. Rest up. Thank you for chatting. See you next time. So here we go. Would it be Madsen and Oakenberg? Would it be? Now, that would be a turn up for the books. Here we go. Tapes are up. Madsen's made a lovely start off the outside. He could well fire himself to the yeah, front down the back straight. Here we go, Smarzlik. Oh, side, the inside. oh, superb stuff from Leon Madsen. Read that superbly well. Huckenbeck is in third place. Smarzlik having a sneaky look over his shoulder. But Leon Madsen, he is back to his best tonight. Brilliant first lap. Yeah, Leon Madsen really was impressive down the back straight. 
great decision making and uh, Smarslik last two heats this race doesn't seem to be getting the bike hooked up quite as well of course he's chasing he's not far back but at the moment it looks like it's Madsen and Smarslik for the final Hooking back just beginning to tail off in third place Leon Madsen looking good out in front is being chased awfully hard by the championship leader Smarslik and Lexington to go very very wide but the speed of Madsen he's got it all covered Madsen through the final corner in semi-final one and he's in the final Smarslik as well <laughs> and Smarslik makes his sixth final of the year for uh, Leon Madsen look how much slower the race times are we had a 60.5 earlier 62.4 nearly two seconds slower that's a long long way so leon madsen brilliant ride from him he's in the final bartos Schmarslik into his sixth consecutive final here in 2024 kai hukenbeck misses out jack holder was excluded from the first semi but for that man best grand prix of the season so far brilliant stuff yeah brilliant stuff from madsen makes a really decent start actually from gate four Schmarslik just gets a, a wheel ahead as they hit the first turn but look how wide he's gone and look how he's timed that cutback <laughs> i tell you what smarzik really jumped off the bike he really wasn't expecting that i think he'd seen uh, midway through the first turn how far he's looked across he could see how far he is wide oh. i tell you, it, was, it was a ruthless move from smarzik he just didn't expect him to be able to make that cutback the way well, he look, did he actually hits the fence yeah 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 it was ruthless smarzik really meant that it was actually Apart from the fact it was a great move from Leon Madsen, it was also a bit of a mistake from Smarslik there. Just overdid it slightly. But once Madsen hit the front, Smarslik tried awfully hard but could not get back at him. Track has changed. I keep saying it, but it's a very different racetrack now. And Leon Madsen, well, what an opportunity when it's like this. Wouldn't pass, put it past him winning. Can he make the final again here in Gorjov? Mickelson, riding well, so is Freddie. Can't underestimate, uh, and underestimate Martin Vasilik on the inside. But Wozniak's made a lovely start out of gate number two. He gets himself to the front and uh, coming out of the first oh, turn, Mickelson. Wow, what a move from Mickelson. Oh, Freddie yeah. Lieberman <laughs> dive for him in a turn number three. Martin Vasilik trying to repay the compliment and can't do it. And it's the riders from gates three and four firing himself to the front. But did they do it in spectacular style? Yes, they did. They certainly did. I tell you what, Freddie Lincoln was brave there as he rolled up the inside of both Wozniak and Vasilik. But uh, once again, Mickelson looking comfortably out front, quite prepared to kiss the dirt on the outside there. Lingren's got speed, though. He uh, knows he only needs a second place, but uh, he wants coming. to put that bit of gap between him and third place, Martin Vasilik. Freddie's having a real go here. Mikkel Mickelson right out by the fence. That's Great. a good turn. Great. Great turn for Mickelson, a brave one, but he needed to do it. That's going to seal his win here in semi-final two. And Mickelson and Freddie Lindgren are through. Mickelson again in the final. So is Freddie Lindgren. Freddie looked very competitive there. Really competitive. But there's one line, isn't there? There's just one line. It's hard to overtake. Vasilik on the spare bike. Nowhere near as good as the first one. He was tailed off. Mickelson's through to the final. So is Freddie Lindgren in second place. Martin Vasilik misses out. And Simon Wozniak, after a fantastic start over game number two, just got beaten up down the back straight on the opening lap. But for that man, well, you wouldn't put it past him winning here tonight. No, there was a roar from the uh, crowd here in Gorshoff when Wozniak hit the front from gate two. And uh, you, can you can really hear it. Uh, the crowd went absolutely nuts. And then look, Martin Vasilik up the inside. He gets beat up by Mickelson. Then he gets beat up by Lindgren. What a first lap from Speedway. Absolutely fascinating stuff. The riders on the outside, they're just able to use the width of the track. That was a really, really impressive cutback from Mickelson on the first turn, I've got to say. Lingren, super brave, comes in so narrow. He knows the dirt's out there to uh, hold him up, but I'll tell you what, Martin Vasilik, he must have wondered what was going on there. He just got taken out by two oh, of them. Coming from everywhere. Yeah. Uh, uh, I've got to say, Freddie Lingren was really hard on Mickelson on the way to the first corner as well. And Mickelson was forced into plan B in the first turn. Pulled it off. It was a master class of a turn back. That tire was very close to the inside yeah, coming off the close, corner. But not, uh, over. not over. But a uh, stunning ride from Mikel Mickelson. And uh, a uh, terrific ride from Freddie Lingren.
back in second place, smashing Grand Prix.